A family desperate to find their 17-year-old son and brother tonight as the search for Jeremy Britton continues. Britton escaped earlier today from the Mahoning County Juvenile Justice Center and still has not been caught. First News reporter Lindsay Watson spoke with Jeremy's sister-in-law just a short time ago. Lindsay joins us live in the studio with a story you'll only see on 27. That's right. Now, as I talked with Rachel Larkin, you could see the worry on her face, hear it in her voice. She tells me right now they just want Jeremy safe, whether it's with them or the police. We know that he's scared and that he's not really certain what's going to happen, but the best thing that can happen now is to come home. You know, just come home to any of us, call any of us, get in touch with any of us. You know, we, we all want to help you. We love you. Words from a worried family. 17-year-old Jeremy Britton escaped from the Mahoning County Juvenile Justice Center just after 9 a.m. by climbing a barbed wire fence. And since then, his family has been frantic, trying to track him down. All of us in our cars, you know, driving around looking for him, looking for places we know that he goes, places where he might feel safe to go, you know, and that's just it. It's about being safe. According to police, after he made his escape, he then forced a woman out of her Cadillac near Youngstown State University and drove off down the railroad tracks near Hubbard Road. He swerved at one of uh, one of our task force officers' car when we tried to block him in the road. He swerved at him, but then jumped the curb and got away. Britain had been in detention for less than a month on aggravated robbery charges linked to the Burger King robbery in Poland. Right, none of us are in his situation. We don't know what he's thinking or what he's feeling or what he's going through. We're not mad. We're worried. We're scared, but we're not mad. We're not mad at all. None of us. We love him unconditionally. He's currently still on the loose and considered armed and dangerous. Police were called back to the woods off of Hubbard Road late this afternoon, but came up empty. He's not trying to hurt anybody. He doesn't want to hurt anybody. He's just scared of what might happen, you know, and not sure of what's going to come out of all this. But he's not going to hurt somebody, you know, and we just don't want him to get hurt either. Just come home safely. Rachel tells me the family has been in constant contact with authorities, all in an effort to bring Jeremy home safely. We'll continue to follow this story and bring you any more updates as they become available. That's the latest for now. Reporting live in the studio tonight, Lindsay Watson, 27 First News at 10.